Tomato is one of the crops mostly grown in greenhouses, apart from the export flowers. The production of tomatoes in greenhouses has raised hopes that the popular vegetable will become available throughout the year at affordable prices. Although the technology is still spreading in various developing countries, in Kenya the concept has not been widely embraced and therefore the country is not enjoying all year round supplies of tomatoes. The greatest opportunities of producing tomatoes in a greenhouse are Tomatoes are not affected by the change of weather. They hence maintain a constant supply in the market. Greenhouse technology reduces three times the cost of production compared to open field tomato production. Farming in greenhouse is better than farming outside there. I've found a lot of relief because in greenhouse there isn't much labor. And in greenhouse you are sure of harvesting your crop because outside Let's say if, there, if these tomatoes were outside and the rain comes, bright appears, or the, the tomatoes will be spoiled within a night. But in grand, greenhouse, we are sure they are going to survive. The productivity of land is also relatively high per square meter compared with the normal farming method. There are a number of tomato varieties grown in a greenhouse, but the most common varieties are Anna F1 and Tilka F1. Nursery bed is where the seeds are planted first to germinate before they are transplanted to the rest of the beds. The bed should be established inside the greenhouse to avoid slow growth rate of the seedlings outside the greenhouse. Establish seed beds of one meter width and plant the seeds at a spacing of 15 centimeters from one row to the other and two centimeters from seed to seed. Alternatively, you can plant or sow the seeds in trays containing a planting medium. Seeds bought from the stockists are always treated, but there is a need to seed dress them again using apron star or seed plus. Drench a mixture of a fungicide and an insecticide, for example, Actara and Ridomil. Actara kills all the soil pests, while Ridomil prevents the onset of damping off. The chemicals should be systemic to be more effective. Spray the seedlings against any pest or disease. This should be after scouting and identifying the presence of pests and diseases. A week before transplanting, Reduce watering to harden the seedlings. This facilitates the seedling to take off fast after transplanting. Transplanting is normally done after 18 to 21 days. Different varieties have different spacing recommendations, but the standard spacing of tomatoes in a greenhouse is 60 cm by 45 cm. This will give you high yields and also easier control of pests and diseases. To control soil pests, for example nematodes, apply nematicides. Application of marshal at a rate of one gram per hole or mock-up is done before transplanting the seedling. Soil fumigation is also recommended to control the diseases, but its chemical use is expensive and also not economical for smaller areas. Crop rotation has also proved to be effective and affordable to small-scale farmers. Apply fertilizer based on soil test results. Make sure there is enough organic matter in the soil by adding well-decomposed manure in the soil. Plant in tandem to achieve a zigzag pattern on the seedbed. This reduces the vegetable congestion of plants within the beds and hence allowing good aeration within the greenhouse. Tomatoes need adequate irrigation during the yearly plant growth, fruit set and fruit enlargement stages. Steady, sufficient supply of water is essential to good tomato production. Irregular watering can result in blossom and rot and fruit cracking. Some form of drip irrigation is recommended. Once tomato plants are well grown, they utilize large quantities of water. Irrigation may then be needed more than once a day to maintain a consistent moisture supply. 
In order to minimize the development of foliar diseases, avoid wetting the leaves of the plants when watering. Otherwise, an important benefit of greenhouse production will be lost. Competition with weeds for available nutrients can be very severe. To control weeds in the greenhouse, practice light hand weeding. Also, weed around the greenhouse about one meter to achieve a clean field and hinder pests from breeding. These tomatoes, as you see, they are one month old in the seedbed. And there are basic things that you need to do at this stage of development. One of these things that a farmer needs to do is to provide trellises while the plant is young, soon after transplanting, by tying sisal twines tied to a peg and to the barbed wire. Spiral the twine around the stem as it grows. Two, there is what we call the suckering. And the suckering, the farmer is supposed to remove the buds that come from the sideways. If you remove the buds, the, the tomato is able to boost the vitality of the tomato and to the growth and ultimate fruit size. Greenhouse tomatoes are normally pruned to a single stem. Prune when the suckers are two to three inches long as they appear in leaf axils. <laughs> Once the tomatoes are growing and the, 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 they are in the seedbed, are healthy, the farmer does what we call crop protection. He has to spray his tomatoes to ensure that there is no outbreak of diseases. The tomatoes have started flowering at this level. In the next one week, the farmer will be expected to spray any foliar feed that is fruit and flowering to boost the flowers that are setting on this tomato. This will be able to determine the number of fruits per truss on each and every flower or each and every tomato plant. There are a number of pests and diseases that attack the tomatoes. At this stage in greenhouse management, the farmer is trained on various aspects of crop management. And one of the aspects of crop management involves scouting. Scouting is looking for the various problems that may have occurred in the greenhouse from the last time the farmer was or visited his greenhouse. One of the things we are going to look for are the diseases. We are also going to look at the pests that may have entered into the greenhouse. We are also going to look for abnormalities or physiological disorders. We are also going to look at the overall management, watering. We are also going to look at the birds. Has he been able to disarcher the trailing and also the fruit setup? For you to determine where there are, if there are pest infestation in the greenhouse, you do a random checkup. You do it physically, and for you to determine that, you have to check your plan. When you shake up your plant vigorously, if there are white flies, you'll see them coming out. Two, you look at the lower surface of your leaves to determine whether there are some hiding there. Mostly insects tend to hide on the lower surface of your leaves. You also have to look at your fruits. Eh? There are some insects that like honey on fruits. To establish, is your fruit clean? You move ahead to establish, do you have diseases? Mostly diseases tend to express themselves on the younger part of the crop. And this is the youngest part of the crop. This is the apical part of it. You look at it keenly to see whether there are any lotions or any, any powdery. Eh? If you see any lotions on your fruits or on your leaves, then definitely your crop is infested with disease. <laughs> Layering is done when the crop reaches an unmanageable height when handling the crop is difficult. Layering is necessitated, necessitated by the fact that uh, the tomato that we, that we grow in the greenhouse, like, like this one, tilka, can go up to a, to a height of uh, three meters. And it's not possible for a farmer now to, to, to be able to do all the activity when, when, when the height of the, of, of the stem is three meters high. That is why it is important to lower, it, to lower the, the stem up to a, a working 
our height. And that is what we are doing. Layering is done after the second harvest of, of tomatoes. Um, and, 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 and by then the plant has achieved a height of about two and a half meters. And it is important now the farmer to lower the, the plant up to a working, a, a working height. The advantage of doing that is number one, the, the farmer is able to pick and, and, uh, and to do uh, the pruning and the suckering without, without a lot of hassles. Number two, it is important because as the plant grow, grows uh, at a particular height, it, it reaches a certain height when it can be affected by, by the direct sunlight that, that, that is coming through the, 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 polythene, the, the polythene paper. So it is important now to roll it down to, 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 a, to a particular height. The other thing that I need to say is, uh, is picking. It becomes easier to pick the fruits because the fruits are lower. Frequent handling of plants is the primary means of spreading tobacco mosaic virus, that's TMV, and tomato canker. Wash hands frequently and don't handle tobacco products. Warm air holds moisture than cool air. During warm days, the greenhouse air is more humid. As the air cools in the evening, the moisture holding capacity drops until the dew point is reached. Water then begins to condense on surfaces. Humidity can be reduced by opening the ventilation during hot days and closing when it's cold. Greenhouse fruits should be as ripe as possible before being harvested based on market needs, but cracking may increase as fruits are left on the plant for a long time. The maturity period is two and a half months after planting. The projected harvest of the tomatoes per plant is 25 kilograms. This is within the production period after good agricultural practices. The production period is normally 12 months. The peak period is during the second to seventh month after start of the harvest. You can market your tomatoes locally, whereby either selling at a wholesale price to the grocery traders and supermarkets or at a retail price directly to the local consumers. The market price of tomatoes keeps on fluctuating depending on the supply and demand in a particular market. The average selling price within the production period is normally 50 shillings per kilogram. Thank God we have got supermarkets, we have got uh, hotels and that's where I sell my, my tomatoes. Right now the sales are not bad. We are selling at 30 shillings a kilo and it appears as if the sales are going up and up. Okay, where my land is located, we are neighbor with a very big village. So many people around a population of 50,000 people. And every house, every day, they take tomato in their food. So I have a ready market. I don't have to travel. They'll come and take it from my farm. So the, the market was not the problem at all. Farmers sometimes combine their produce together and transport them to market with the best offer in order to increase their profits. Remember, when managing tomatoes in a greenhouse, test the soil for the nutrient levels and ensure it is free from pathogens. Avoid the drippers from umpers. Always use clean, filtered water. Apply the correct fertilizers and chemicals at the right time. Always use the correct certified seeds recommended for greenhouse. Disinfect your hands, clothing and all the working tools before use within the greenhouse. Scouting regularly so as to respond quickly to pests and diseases. Observe timely and regular routine management practices, that is, trellising, pruning, desuckering, layering, watering. <laughs>